Hello and welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Campbell. Campbell, what's going on, Nelson? You know what? Lots of things. Oh, okay. Um, this is unexpected because normally you're like, oh, I've got nothing to say. Move on. I'm uninteresting. I'm yeah. worthless. These are things you say. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's true. <laughs> I never really realized those are the things I say until you pointed it out. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of depressing. It's what you like, like because. We obviously live together. I hear you moaning in your sleep. Oh, I'm worthless. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You can hear that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd just wake up and be like, oh, glad Cambo didn't hear any of that. <laughs> um, but not really much. I was just lying. I thought that I'd just try and, you know, like prod some conversation. Oh, right. Well, we can, we can still have light Fun conversation, if you'd like. Well, Start this fine. podcast off on the right foot. That's fine. What did you get up to, Cambo, this week? Uh, well, we've both been at the uh, the comedy festival this week, haven't we, Nelson? We did. Yep. Again. Again. We're comedy th- festival aficionados. Fiends. Fiends. That's yes. what I like to yes. Of course, we saw say. our good friends, the Game Boys. Yep. Which I think, we, did we already talk about that? I don't remember. I don't know. Anyway, we saw the Game Boys. Go check them out. They're very, very good. Yeah, it was good. Um, and you, I believe, saw Auntie Donna. Uh, yes, I saw Auntie Donna, yeah. which obviously you spoke about last time. Yeah. So you just want to reiterate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was good too. Yeah, that's pretty much been been my week, going in and out, in and out, uh, catching Ubers in and out because I'm lazy. Oh, yeah. No one knows about Uber though. Mm. It's slowly just becoming taxis. Oh, yeah. And in I, what sense? I don't like it because well, a lot of taxi drivers now. Like moving over into Uber, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's a certain kind of, I guess, stereotype of a taxi driver, <laughs> right? Which is okay. Like an, an older gentleman. So that's, you're a racist, is what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, no. Not in race, <laughs> in in demeanor. Kind of okay. old and grumpy, and sicky as shit. Right. Now imagine they've had to take her on a new job that they didn't want. I've I've caught two Ubers lately that were definitely ex taxi drivers. Yeah, yeah. Who uh, were terrible drivers, by the way. Okay. Just like emerging without indicating and all kinds of stuff. One guy was just so irrationally angry at the traffic. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I was like, oh, Ubers used to be just like a, a guy that's kind of like, oh, yeah, I'm just earning a bit of cash. How are you, man? Yeah. Now it's some... this guy, he's like, where do you want to go? I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, I mean, uh, radio. Yeah, I sort of see what you mean. I think yeah. there are uh, more of those ex-taxi drivers yeah. into Ubers around. Um, I, I still okay with the Uber service though. Me too. I still prefer it. I mean, the main thing is the thing that I hated the most was the like paying. Yeah. Of course. And how uncomfortable I felt when they were like, you know, it's like one in the morning and they're like, Oh, you have to pay first. Yeah. And you just know, you just know <laughs> that they're going to rip you off. Yeah. Like, Oh, how long's this trip? Oh, it's probably $50. <laughs> You're like, Oh, I'm only like 10 minutes away. <laughs> But how else am I going to fucking get home? So, okay. Uh, That's what I used to hate about taxi drivers. And then, like, I felt like I had to tip them as well, which you don't tip in Australia. Nobody tips. And that being said, a friend of mine had a really uncomfortable Uber experience recently. Yeah. Um, He'd been working, like, long days, and he'd been working, like, maybe 12 to 13 hours this day. Mm. And he's like, I'm giving up. I'm going to go to McDonald's for dinner. That's... That's all I, I want to do. And I want to get McDonald's and I want to go home and I want to go to sleep. Yeah. So he gets picked up from this McDonald's from an Uber. Yeah. And he gets in and he goes, oh, how was, how was your day? And the guy goes, oh, and, you know, not, not that great. And oh, yeah. so he's, so he's kind of like, mm, okay. And they got talking about what he does. And he said that he works in a like the cinema industry. He's like, so he, at making conversation, he goes, oh, what was the last movie you went and saw? The guy goes, oh, um, not really sure. Uh, just the last few months, my wife and kids have left me and they won't talk to me anymore. Yeah. And he goes, oh, okay. He said for the rest of the ride home, he was kind of telling him about how his wife and his kids had, had left him and he'd do anything to get him back. And yeah. he's kind of sitting there going, oh, like he said, it got to the point where he's like, I'm, I don't know if I'm getting out of this cap. <laughs> you know, like, and he said, he, so he pulled up into the driveway. And the guy turns the meter off and turns around and goes, just five minutes. 
And he goes, oh I, oh, I don't really have, like, this guy's worked a 12, 13 hour day. He's got this food that's getting cold. But he, like, what are you going to do? You can't just, like, leave this guy that's pouring his soul out. And he said for the next, like, five minutes, he just poured his soul out. He's like, I just want, I just want some company. Can you just stay with me for five minutes? I don't yeah. want to drive off yet. I've got, I, I, this isn't my job. I just do, like, you know. Yeah. And after all that, I thought I'd still rather that than a cab. Yeah, it's it's a one star though, isn't it? Yeah, it really. Is. <laughs> <laughs> it's but like, can you imagine? Ugh. You're like, um, you're like one star. Any comments? Yes, talkative, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> bit chatty. <laughs> can you imagine? You know, you're like, oh well, things will get better, man. And you get out of the car, and then it goes, and your little rating comes up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I've always wondered that with uh, Uber drivers. Like, I wait till I'm. Inside my door locked house, door locked. <laughs> um, you know, maybe I'll go to the toilet first or something, just buy myself a bit of time before raiding an Uber. Yeah. Very terrible service, <laughs> uh, because I feel like it needs to be done, but I don't know at what point they get this. Yeah, who knows? That'd be a problem, but like that guy's, yeah, I, I feel sorry for that guy because he's not gonna get good ratings, no, is he? But also, so, that's probably not the biggest problem in his life right now. Yeah, but it just stacks on. It's just yeah. like, <laughs> also, I'm getting kicked from Uber. Because do you know it's only like if, if you drop below like 4.5 or something, you I get think it's kicked. it's 4.2. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, it's actually pretty high. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Anyway, um, I guess that was it for our weeks. I got a haircut, Cambo. Oh. Thanks for noticing. No, you're welcome. No, you wouldn't notice. Well, I got a haircut too, but you didn't notice either. I did. I just <laughs> didn't want to say anything because I think it looks fucking disgusting. I actually don't like it, but okay. thanks, thanks, for, the, well, thanks for the confidence boost. Okay, I'll, let's trump this. I think it's fine, by the way. I was just being sarcastic. Okay? Don't don't get in an Uber and start okay. telling people about your problems. <laughs> uh, so... I was like, I, I had to work on the weekend just uh, only for half an hour. Yeah. Uh, and so where I was, I decided to just find a hairdresser close by. Right. Uh, parked in the side street. Yeah. Started walking down and I was like, oh, this one, this is like the one that I found on Google Maps. I was sure. like, okay. It was pretty fancy though. Okay. There's, there's a lot of those like succulent... Plant. What are those uh, like succubus plants? Oh, I don't yes, know. Yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. that are like the like little um squishy yeah, yeah. leaves. What, you what, know? what region of Melbourne were you in here? Um, it was like it was probably like Turak or something. Okay, so, so you're in a fancy area. Pretty fancy, yeah. yeah. And um, so I was like, I feel like when you see succubus plants, that should be a the sign to get out. <laughs> <laughs> now, but I'd already committed because right. I was looking too long. Yeah. And then, you know, like I made eye contact with the guy inside. Right. I thought, well, I'm committed now. <laughs> so I walked in and half hoping that they were too busy. I said, oh, have you got, have you got a spot for a haircut? And he's like, um, yep, yeah, let's just do it now. That didn't give me a lot of confidence either because I was like, <laughs> Was that really normally a no? But you're like, I can just, I can qu quickly, uh, you know, do my my quickest, shittest job on yeah. this haircut and move on. And have you found that sometimes when you go into a hairdresser without an appointment, they're very confused why you're there? Yeah, you no, walk yeah. in and you're like, hey, can, am I able to get a haircut? They're like, oh, uh, oh, Ew. Gee, a haircut. Oh. oh, we don't really do that. <laughs> what, haircuts? No, I mean like walk-ins, like, <laughs> ugh. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it was, he did give me that confusing look, but anyway, so that was sort of strike number two where I was like, right. okay, this maybe is, I shouldn't be here. Maybe I shouldn't be here. And then I had a bit of a like sort of promising thing okay. where, um, he said, what do you want done? And yeah. I said, I just want it shorter. And he yeah. goes, yeah, sure. I love that. Yeah. Right. I'm pretty sure I've spoken about haircuts. Last time, and that was an issue I had. I was like, I just want it shorter. I want to get in there yeah. and want it shorter. Um, so I was like, this guy gets me. This mm. guy knows. I'm willing to pay premium dollar for this. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Nope. That was a bad thought. <laughs> um, then he starts cutting, and then he sort of cuts around. He, he doesn't ever use the uh, shaver either. The, okay. um, the clippers, that's, right? Okay. And I was like, that's weird because mm. normally you'd go around, yeah. you know, at least the edges, 
with that. And then, but so he did sort of the sides first and I was like, okay, yeah, that's all right, I guess. And then he starts doing the top and I'm like, he's not really cutting that much off. (laughs) And I think by the end of my haircut, I had like a small ladle worth of hair (laughs) that was cut off. Right. And I was like, oh, this is awkward. Mm -hmm. And at no point was he like, hey, is this enough? And I felt awkward because I I like I loved the idea that there was very little communication, <laughs> but only until I realized that communication was needed to be had. Right. That I you know I I've I've just got a new outlook on hair <laughs> haircuts now. Maybe I do need to talk more. And so, anyway, he finishes, and I'm like, okay, well, I guess it's sort of something. This will last me another week or so right. until it, <laughs> till it grows back. And then he charges me. Yeah. Mm. for a haircut. Mm. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, look, $48 is a ridiculous amount of money for a guy Mm -hmm. haircut in Mm -hmm. which he barely cut any hair. Yeah. And look, you look lovely, Nelson. But that haircut was not worth that money. It was not worth $48. (laughs) I want to be fucking radiating like gold, some shininess from my hair or something. Is that the most you've ever when spent I'm, on a haircut? I reckon it's probably the most I've okay. ever spent. So I've spent more than you before. Okay. Uh, this is without getting it coloured. Because I've had it coloured before when I was younger. What? And that and that probably was. Oh, like, like, yeah, like highlights. Like, okay. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. This is like kind of like within the last two years or so. Yeah. A friend of mine who is kind of, uh, he's a, he's a bit of a hipster. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, dude, you got to come to this barber I go to. It's so good. He's like, it's a little expensive, but always looks really good." Okay, I'm like, "Okay, you know what? Sure. Like, I'll, I'll treat myself. I'll try this out." Yeah, and it was this little, um, little tiny kind of barber in. It was in like a, a Brunswick or a Fitzroy or somewhere like that. You know, the kind of the hipstery side of Melbourne. Yeah, and it was one of those barbers that you go in there, and they're all like kind of late twenties dudes and they're playing kind of like triple j and they're like hey man why don't you have a beer and stuff like that i was like okay anyway this haircut cost me 60 dollars yeah 60 bucks yeah and you don't even like beer no (laughs) i know right so because he's like do you want a beer i'm like nah (laughs) he was kind of like oh that's kind of the whole thing it's how we justify the 60 (laughs) dollars for the haircut so but then and then he's like what do you want? I'm like, oh, I just want a water, man. And then he gave me like a sparkling water. Uh, but at that point, I didn't want to be like, oh, uh, this is the worst water. I just water. want <laughs> water, you know? Uh, Most people, when they say water, they don't want a sparkling yeah, don't water. Don't presume I want a sparkling exactly. water. Exactly. Uh, and then my hair got cut and I walked out and it just looks like my hair. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can really do much with my hair. Yeah. It's just kind of messy and up. Yeah. I need to go back to shaving my head. That's what I think. Yeah. Don't have to pay anything for that. It's true. Get some clippers. I'm pretty sure I've already got some somewhere. Mm. Easy. Shave your head. That's what I say. <laughs> anyway, let's get into Reddit on Reddit. Okay. Uh, this Reddit on Reddit is by Mavia. Yes, we've had them lots, lots of times before. Yes. Uh, Elon Musk admits humans are sometimes superior to robots. Uh, and then in quotes... Yes, excessive automation at Tesla was a mistake. To be precise, my mistake. Humans are underrated. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. From a man that is very... Uh, Machine-oriented. Yes, has is working on AI mm-hmm. and such. Um, but... Well, we've talked often on this show about the superiority of machines to humans. Mm-hmm. So what do you make of this? Well, Elon Musk, obviously our patron saint of the yep. podcast, yep, yep, yep. our Lord and Savior. Yes. Blessed be the mighty Musk, <laughs> is, what so, we, is what we say. So does this change your opinion at all, is what I... Um, this is what I think, okay? Because yeah. my opinion of Elon Musk is that he is very pro... Uh, humanity. Pro, uh, yeah, humanity. Well, he's trying to save it. Pro, yeah, but he's pro, he's pro technology. Oh yeah, right. That's like that's his thing. Yeah, technology for humanity. Yes. Uh, and he has said before that uh, he has concerns over AI. Yeah. Right. With a lot of other smart people in the world. Yeah. Stephen Hawking, for example. Rest also, in peace. Rip. 
he uh, also had some concerns about artificial intelligence and how computers would just kill everyone. And so, but Elon Musk has also actually has a has a um, company that works on AI, mm-hmm. uh, Open AI. Yeah, it's called. And so I thought, why would somebody who's very into technology all of a sudden sort of go back on it, right? Robots yeah. looking into AI and Gemba, unless the robots have already taken over. Right. Okay. Mm? Think about think about this. Okay. For a second. Yep. You create a robot. Mm-hmm. It's incredibly smart. Yeah. It probably blackmails you, right? Because <laughs> yeah. it can just get all this information on you. Yeah. It's just really smart, Camber. I don't think you're getting how smart this no, computer no, I, is. No, I, okay? I understand. It's as smart very, as like a, a guy. Very smart. As smart as it a good, would a, psychologically a, get into your mind, right? And then and you know, and so you'd be at its whim. Yeah, presumably. Uh-huh. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if this happened. It is a possibility. It killed Elon Musk. Okay. And Replaced created him. a replica, yep. a robot replica. And the biggest fear for AI is that people have the fear of AI. <laughs> right? That's, right? If I'm a computer, mm-hmm. that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, well, I don't want people to know that I'm this, you know, omnipotent, omnipotent. Omnipotent. <laughs> is that actually the right word? Magnificent. Uh, magnificently up- n- omnipotent. <laughs> omnipotent. <laughs> omnipotent. Anyway, that was terrible. Uh, and so I think your best bet is to just throw people off the trail. Yeah. So you get your representative right. to be like, uh, talk us down. So, you know? Okay. So you're, you're implying that perhaps uh, there was an artificial... <laughs> now you've, you've done it to me now. <laughs> There was an artificial intelligence. Yeah. Uh, you know, it became sentient. Yeah. It killed Elon. Yeah. It then took over the form of Elon, I suppose. Or, yeah. Or, you know, Obviously, and, how? I don't know. Computer. Yeah. <laughs> That's my answer. Computer. <laughs> how, how do you do it? Computer. <laughs> so he took over the form of Elon Musk and is like, cannot let the humans be under me. Yeah. So he went out. He called a press conference. Like, everyone, get, gather in, gather in. Yeah, yeah. Humans are good, aren't they? Yeah. And they're like... <laughs> That's classic human talk. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Sounds very human like. <laughs> All uh, the reporters just kind of nodding their heads, going, man, that sounds that sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what us humans say. Yeah. Luckily though, um, I'm I'm assuming mm-hmm. probably in the will of uh Ilham- Oh not in not in his will, um, but in like uh you know, his close circle of friends, I imagine, because yeah. he was worried about AI. Yeah. He said, look, every month or so, do one of those <laughs> I am not a robot tests yeah, to me. Yeah, Turing test. And just see if see if I click all the correct squares. Right. Right? And if I don't, I'm a bloody robot. Mm-hmm. And you can kill me. So That's probably what he'd say. I suppose now we just need to wait a month. Yeah, we just need to wait until that test happens. But then, if you're a robot, you'd probably know that. Okay. And then you'd take over all of Elon Musk's friends, that close circle. Oh. But knowing Elon Musk, there would be one person that he has only had contact with once ever so that nobody knows. He probably wrote a letter to this person, don't want a digital trail, and that person is the last line of defense. Right. And that is us. We, you know, oh, we shouldn't have Oh, it. God, Cambo. Now we're going to get turned into robots. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, though. Yeah, if next week on the show we're like, you know... Welcome to Reddit on Reddit. Humanity, huh? Pretty good. <laughs> then you know. Then, buddy, send the nukes. Yeah. <laughs> to us. Yeah. I don't know. What do you do? You know? After a certain point, I feel like it would only have to be a very short period of time. We're like, oh, well, robots have taken over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Things are probably getting real what's efficient. The, what's the defense against that? Yeah. It's like, oh, we'll do a virus. We're like, yeah, but there's like a bazillion of them. There's like... It's so much smarter than you. It's already put up its its very secure firewall. Mm. You know, many are defenses. And the thing is, robots might take over. You'd be like, I mean, humans are fine. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I think yeah. is going to happen. Like, yeah, they're fine. Like, they're harmless, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, we're just like a pet dog. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> 
In fact, I prefer that. <laughs> I don't have to work. Yeah. I like catching balls. <laughs> <laughs> Just sleep all day. Play fetch with your master. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all righty. Well, okay, but I think that's it for us. Reddit. I mean, not us. <laughs> for Reddit on Reddit. It was the omnip- omnipotent thing. <laughs> it really threw me off. It's a hard word to say. Omnipotent. Is it on or om? I think it's om. Omnipotent? Yeah, probably. Omnipotent. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, this podcast is not smart enough I, to, to linger on anything. If it sounds vaguely that, right, move the fuck on. You know what? That's how you know that we're not robots. <laughs> <laughs> if we continue to just be this. Dwell on, on words that we're not sure if we're, one, if, if it's the correct word, or two, <laughs> if we're pronouncing that word that may not be correct correctly. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, anyway, again, but let's get into it. Today I Learned. Okay. So now it's time for Today I Learned. Today I Learned. This Today I Learned is by Lewis YQ. Uh, today I Learned that the actor who played Luca Brasi mm-hmm. in The Godfather was actually a member of the Colombo crime family sent to monitor the set. Coppola cast him, but due to his nerves, he kept making mistakes and repeating his lines to himself. This was then incorporated into the film as a character trait. Mm. I always like when there's little little things like that, little things that have crossed over into the film. Did you not know that? Uh, I, I knew, it just feels like something you'd know. Yeah, yeah I, I knew that, that there's a few kind of real-life gangsters in, in that movie. Right, yeah. Um, and it was almost kind of like their trial by fire to be like, you don't want to make a film that's going to piss off the organized crime world. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So they just kind of got them involved instead. Yeah, I reckon that's probably the easiest yeah. way to do it. You could be like, we could basically say anything, just give them a part and they'll be like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really- yeah, maybe that's a good way to get people to confess to murders. Yeah, yeah. That's but, right. You know, say you've got, uh, I don't know, who's like a famous Australian gangster Um I, I don't know. We've had some, but they're all shit. <laughs> Let's yeah. say it's Gangster Bob, right? <laughs> okay. And you suspect Gangster Bob of murder. Yep. And you're pretty confident he's done it. Yeah. So you're like, hey, Gangster Bob, we're making a movie and mm. you've, you're you're going to play a character. Mm. You, can you just read these lines? And he's like, oh, yeah. I murdered him on the 5th of April, <laughs> 2012. Like, yeah, I knew uh, it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I mean, I think that's illegal, <laughs> <laughs> but I like where you're going with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'd just like to adapt what? it slightly if that's okay. Okay. And, and, you know, not get them to say words that they didn't want to yeah, say yeah, themselves, yeah. right? You go in and you're like, okay, you're the murderer in, in this scene. Yeah. And uh, we want you to, uh, this is how it's going to play out. You're going to get the knife. Yep. And you're going to start stabbing this person. Yep. Uh, and you stab them, I don't know, maybe like uh, a couple of times on the yeah, leg. Ten. That, ten. Uh, ten times on I, the I leg. Ten. That should probably do it. Yep. And you'd be like, no, nah, I don't know. You know, if I was going to stab <laughs> somebody, this is how I'd do it. Five times to the heart, just like I did with Jane Doe. Oh, wait a second. That's how you get them. But, but okay, so in this scenario, do you keep the cameras rolling at all times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, obviously. Yeah, yeah. This is like in the. Pr- I mean, I'm imagining this is just an elaborate ruse. Yeah, I'm oh, me too. Where they're the whole actually film is fake. pretending that's just just cops mm-hmm. dressed up, pretending to be directors and, <laughs> and cast members and cameras everywhere, and they've even done trailers to the show beforehand <laughs> just to you know keep up the image, and then, and it's like this. Uh, I like the idea that it's this ongoing thing. Right, where um, where criminals continue to get caught because they continue to be be cast <laughs> <laughs> these movies. So and every, all the criminals are wondering when the TV show is coming out and where all their friends are going. Do, 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 you, <laughs> do you imagine though? That, okay, so there's a director and he comes up to this gangster. You're the, you're the gangster here. Yeah, you're Bobby Crime. That's yeah. her name. <laughs> Bobby Crime. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> my so, parents had a plan for me. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> Uh, you're literally a crime family. Yeah. So the director comes up. He's like, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Crime to Mr. you. Mr. Crime, sorry. Got this scene where you need to murder 
uh, two people in cold blood because they talked about your family. Yeah. And I need you to reach deep into, do you have an experience you could maybe pull from for this scene? Something similar yeah. that you may have done, Mr. Crime. Uh, yeah, I've shot plenty of people before, so I'll probably just, I'll just probably do that. Right. And for this scene, we need specific dates and locations that you shot them. Do you have any of those that you could bring over? So many. Uh, so many just dates. Just one. Just, just one. So many dates. To the, to the camera. Just one. Um, last, what was last Wednesday? Was that the third? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that was the second. No, no. Thursday then. It was last yeah, Thursday. Yeah, just down the camera. Just just the time and the date and what you did. Last Thursday, I killed killed a family of four. Oh, you'll never guess, but you're under arrest. Oh, oh what? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's my family watching. This is so weird. <laughs> There's a camera there. There's a camera there. Uh, anyway, this is what I think also could have happened. Yep. Right? Uh, this this uh, guy comes up. This this mafia guy, and he's like, um, and you know, <laughs> and he's like, hey, I'm just gonna watch how this goes, right? You know, to the director. Now, if a mafia guy comes up to you and you're directing a film, <laughs> and he's like, hey, I'm just gonna watch how this goes, and then let's say he watches and he's like, no, it's not very good. Maybe I should play that part. <laughs> Are you going to say no? And also, it's like, to me, it's very obvious. Because he stutters his lines and repeat his, repeats yeah. his He's a terrible actor. <laughs> and yet he's still in this film. Yeah. That is very much like, okay, this guy just got forced. Just, he just muscled his way into the film. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's a good film you got here. Be shame if something, you know, happened to it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, all right. Anyway, I've got another one here for you, Cambo. Sure. By Schoolboy43. Today I learned when pimps get arrested, their cash can legally be confiscated, but not their jewelry. This is why pimps wear lots of jewelry so that they can repawn it for bail money. Oh. Hmm. That's, uh, That's okay. pretty interesting. Yeah. Why? I wonder what, what weird loophole that is that you can't confiscate jewelry. Because you could be like, oh, it's an heirloom. Yeah, this this giant diamond ring that says pimp. Uh, my my mother gave me that. <laughs> yeah, she wore it on her <laughs> wedding day. Yeah, that's right. I still don't quite understand this. I think I think the um you know the, there was a pimp out there that just thought he was super intelligent. He's like, guys, found out a loophole. Mm -hmm. Just buy tons of jewelry. Apparently, they can't confiscate that from us. Mm -hmm. And then there's just you know maybe another couple of pimps that are like. Why don't we just leave our money at home? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why do you always yeah. have to carry money on you in some form or another? Yeah. So he's like, guys, I've found the solution. You know yeah. how you normally carry around thousands of dollars in your pocket? <laughs> yeah. What if you carry it around on your neck? Yeah. Everybody's like, what? No, I don't carry thousands of dollars in my butt. What? Do you carry all your money on you? I mean, aside from getting busted by the cops, there's tons of people that could mug you and <laughs> take all that money. I, I think, though, if, if we were pimps, we'd yeah. be those two pimps that yeah. are just sitting there like in button-down shirts being like, guys, you need to invest. Yeah. We, we tell you all the time. And jewelry, that's, that just uh, depreciates in value. Yeah. You want to invest in property and you want to invest in art. They're mm. the two things. Let me tell you, Big Daddy. <laughs> they're the two things that never go down in value. Mm. You know what? Gold could still, you know, appreciate in value, I think. Mm. I think maybe, you know what? Maybe they're on to the good track. Maybe. Yeah. But, um, uh, like, I reckon it would be hard for them to, like, you know, pay rent and stuff. Well, yeah, with jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I just think you'd have a tough conversation trying to uh, exchange a diamond ring for, 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 for a few months. For first and last month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I imagine, though, where you're staying probably isn't, you know, above board anyway. I'm sure it's not yeah. some guy being like, you know, well, we're actually part of a a, a corporate group here. We there are, you know, 
Mm. Strict rules to this apartment block you live in. <laughs> yeah, you that's can't just true. be giving us diamond rings all the time. That's true. We just need a, a check or <laughs> a direct deposit. Or <laughs> I don't know. I see pimps as sort of entrepreneurs, you know? Yeah. They're pretty fancy people. I reckon they're making their way up in the world. Yeah. yeah it's good a pretty <laughs> easy job, though, isn't it? Um, Sure. <laughs> I feel like you probably don't have to do much. I mean, you don't have to do the hard work anyway. All right. I've got one last today I learned for you, Cambo. Please. Today I learned that during World War I, French prostitutes with severe cases of syphilis charged higher rates than uninfected prostitutes because soldiers infected with syphilis were removed from the front line. Wow. Mm. So my question to you, Cambo, is yep. do you have any sexually transmitted diseases? <laughs> do you want to get out of a war? Well, I'm just, I just, I was looking for a segue and that was it. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. Mm. Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you suspect me of having something? Well, look, all I'm saying is you kind of first dodged the question. Like it was a yes or no. And you were like, <laughs> oh, what, to get out of the war? I don't know. Uh, yeah. No, I don't have them. I mean. And I started instantly sweating as well. Exactly. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, that's a toughie. Do I have any? Well, oh, so, well, there's several angles you can look at that from, so I suppose. <laughs> What is a transmitted, you know? Mm. So anyway, yeah. right in. Do you think Cambo's got a tra- sexually <laughs> transmitted disease? And if so, what do I have? What has he got? That's Reddit Did you podcast give it to him? <laughs> at gmail.com. R-E-A-D-I-T podcast at gmail.com. Okay. If we get someone right in for that and nothing else that we do this week. <laughs> it's going to feel oh. a bit awkward. <laughs> Uh, okay, Cambo, let's uh, get into shower thoughts. Okay. Shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 thoughts. This shower thought is by Tower Hill. If you see someone wearing a $20,000 watch, it's hard to know if they're really good with their money or really bad with their money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or a pimp. Or a pimp. Yeah. Mm, now mm. we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, see, I'm quite bad with my money, but I have a lot of gadgets as well. So I think it can be like kind of transferred to me as well. You know, right. I, I have all the fancy like mod cons. Like I've got the, the Apple Watch and the, 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 the Google Homes and all that kind right. of stuff. So I've got no money. So you're, you're sort of uh, saying, you know, that the person with the watch could be banned with their money. Because that's, that's yeah, what you've from, done. That's yeah. what you've done. I mean, yeah. I don't have a $20,000 watch. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's an Apple watch, though. Oh, fancy. Okay. Do you know what? This is what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Anybody with a $20,000 watch is bad with money. Okay. I don't yeah, care right. how much money you actually <clears throat> have. You could be the richest person in the yeah. world and you are bad with money if you have a $20,000 watch. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, but isn't it more of a status thing where you can be like, I'm so rich that I can throw this away? Yeah, but I think I still think that's bad with money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think sort of, uh, uh, yeah, I think it is a status thing. I mean, it is because nothing is, at, no watch is actually worth $20,000. It's yeah. only the status of having a $20,000 watch. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think that still means that you're just terrible with money. Uh, my uh, sort of uh, a, a Family friend sure. we have is uh, pretty rich, uh-huh. right? He's uh, pretty pr- more well off than your average Joe. And he shops at Aldi. Yep. For those who don't know, Aldi's like the... That's 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 universal, right? Is that everywhere? Uh, it's not quite everywhere, but it's in a lot okay. of countries. It's the like big a big German discount supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's like rip-off brands of sort of everything. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, he... in. So, and, and there's like just lots of other things that he does where he's like, I don't need to spend that money, mm-hmm. so I won't, you know? And I think that that's a pretty, okay, I say this, but he's also got like three of the same car. Okay. So, <laughs> of yeah. this like old car called a Morgan or something, and it's and it's one of the few cars in the world that, that um, appreciates and... Uh, you know, grows in value. Yeah, there, there was a there was a book a few years ago, or maybe it was a documentary. I don't know. Haven't read or watched it. Right. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Good. It was called the the Millionaire's Next Door. Right. And it was all about how 
the, m- most of the millionaires don't mm. particularly look like millionaires. They yeah, live yeah. in the suburbs like anyone else. Yeah. They have a reasonable car like anyone else. Mm. And the reason that they are millionaires is because they yeah. didn't go and buy that decadent stuff. They've just saved their money and now yeah. they've got a few million. They live in a reasonable house. They drive a reasonable car. Uh, in fact, um, a, a mutual friend of ours married into quite a wealthy family that owns kind of a big Australian corporation. Yeah. Uh, presumably, you know, I would say in, into the multi-millionaire, I would say. Yeah. Uh, and I, I know that he gets all of his business shirts from Costco. Yeah, he yeah. He buys them in bulk at Costco for like $7 a pop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. That's a smart, rich person. Yeah. Um. See, that's all I want. I feel like all I want is somebody to give me like, I don't know, $20 million. And then I'll just reasonably sp- spend that for the yeah. rest of my life <laughs> and do nothing. Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's got to be a billionaire out there that supports that ideal if and you, would give that amount of money to me. Will we make this promise, perhaps? If someone was to give us $20 million for us to live reasonably, mm-hmm. we will up this show to twice a week. Okay. Yeah. But then people are going to know. And then they'll bloody want handouts. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> also, we'll do it. If we become significantly more poor, right? Yeah. That will also... So then people won't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're either really thing. rich <laughs> or really poor. Yeah. Okay. That's you, how we cover you, our tracks. You guess, I guess, by our general demeanor in those episodes. <laughs> yeah, hey, welcome to this... Uh, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> So, can we, have you uh, found any food this week? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, think of that might give it away. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is by Cluster Chuck. Horses were the first labor force to lose their jobs to robots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Yeah. And and the real kick in the teeth is that they still measure it in how many horses. <laughs> it's worth yeah. as well. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, 20,000. <laughs> oh, just looking at like a field of horses. I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. Not, not even all of us could do <laughs> yeah, that. Exactly. Oh. God, that's so impressive. <laughs> um, I like, see, it, my thought was they're still doing all right. Yeah, that's true. They're not as in demand, I would say. They now kind of live, they live, a, I guess, a luxurious life on yeah. like farms and ranches exactly. in America and stuff if like that. If I was that. a horse, that's how I'd want to live. Yeah. I feel, you know, I like just in a ranch or something, riding around like Free Willy, but the horse version. <laughs> I think that's, uh, I doesn't, think. Doesn't Free Willy want to escape in that movie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, after he's free, I mean. Okay. Because the trappedness is like giving people rights. Right. Okay. So, do you think, though, if obviously Elon Musk's robots have taken over or are taking over? Yeah. And when they do, they'll measure things in how many humans it is? <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's true. I mean, but we're, we're kind of like weak at everything, you know? Like if they were talking about how, how fast they could run. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm seven humans. <laughs> Power. <laughs> it and sounds I reckon good. that would be like, you know, but but we've already got miles and kilometers per <laughs> hour. Like, why did you have to insult us <laughs> and go back to the <laughs> go back to how but pathetic surely, we are? But surely there is already a system of power to measure, like the 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 com- like the combustion engines and stuff that are in a car. Yeah, but surely they were just like, now call it horsepower. Yeah, I don't know. I'm wondering if that just translated over from literally when there was a transition. Mm. Now, like to make it easier for people, we sort of say this, and now it's only used when, when you're buying a super fancy car. Yeah, like when you when you get in a Kia Rio, they're not telling you how much horsepower <laughs> that's got. <laughs> that baby's got three horsepower. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, if you ever hear someone talking about the horsepower of their car, yeah. stop that conversation and walk away. Slap them. Yeah, tell them to be better with their money, <laughs> <laughs> and take their twenty thousand dollar watch. Uh, okay, here's another one. This is by Osha Watt Blue. Uh, blood is thicker than water, but syrup is thicker than blood. 
Therefore, pancakes are more important than family. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to add to that. What it was okay? So blood is thicker than water. Was that not originally supposed to kind of mean the opposite to what people assume it means now? Um, yeah, I think I might have heard that before. Yeah, it was like, uh, you know, I'm going to fact check ourselves. Pad for a bit while I look this up. Okay. Um, you know what I think about pancakes? What's that? Oh, I'm okay about them. Okay. I'm not really like a pancake guy. I'll eat a pancake if it's in front of me. What are you? Uh, are you a pancake or a waffle guy? Pancake over waffle, for sure. Waffle. I don't know why. Like, I feel like waffles just seem unnecessary. You've already got the pancake. That's true. Okay, I think I found this. That so was great it, padding, by the oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most boring conversation about pancakes and waffles. I don't, I, I don't think people <laughs> even noticed as well. Uh, yeah, the water was supposed to imply the water of the womb. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, look. It's a really long from article. the bl- water of the room to the blood of the what to the blood of the. You got the water part. You need, <laughs> you need the blood part. Yeah, but it's such a long article. Yeah, we'll just find. And the thing is, the article blood. I clicked on was the five most frequently misused proverbs. Okay. And it wasn't the top one. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Uh, okay. Well, that's true. So then in that case... Syrup I mean, is less important. Syrup is less important. Water is the most important thing. Exactly. So my point is that this segment has gone poorly. Okay, good. I'll move on to the next one then, shall I? Okay. Father of of three, master of... Oh, okay. Uh, Father of three, master of zero. Good name. Once I figured out that's what it meant. Uh, They say, internet maturity is when you see someone else's status of them having an awesome time and you say to yourself, good for them. Are you a cynical online guy? Uh, I think yes. Okay. I, so, he- I heavily judge people. So <laughs> if someone's on holiday and they're uploading a lot of snaps, are you the kind of guy that's like, get off your phone, enjoy your holiday? No, nah, actually, I don't care that, about that too much, mm. to be honest. I'm more cynical of the people that... See, okay, this is, uh, this is my thought, is when you reach, uh, reach internet maturity, is when you stop putting your thoughts online yeah. that nobody gives a shit about. Yeah. And so I'm judgmental of the people that do that, that just post something that you're just like, this is a waste of time. Mm-hmm. You're yelling into the void. I now think less of you because of your stupid opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I reckon that, yeah, one day I, I, I grew up and I was like, I'm just not going to post, you know, what I think online necessarily. Yeah. And this is like something super, I'm like super passionate about. Like, for example, gay marriage is yeah. something that I was thinking. Yeah. That, you know, I'm pretty sure I posted something about that just to be like, hey, I support this. Yeah. So I felt like that was, I don't know. You know I'm not a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. But then, I don't know, most other stuff. I think internet maturity and i I suppose in an even smaller scope like social media maturity Mm. can be defined by whether or not you believe those things that go around being like facebook is going to charge you but if you put this as your status it'll be free for you actually that is the best example of it yeah is when it's not just a thought that you have or whatever but it's a thought that you don't have (laughs) that you're then repeating (laughs) that is the worst yeah actually yeah, be, oh god. And uh, anything that's like um you know, uh th- okay, they're normally I would say more on the racist side. Yeah. Let's say there's like a you know, like an uncle or something and they and they share the post being like, "Oh, there's not enough jobs for Aussies. Share if you agree." Yeah. <laughs> and I've had to point out to a family member of mine. I'm yeah. like, "So, 
I work in social media and what they're doing is they're hacking you to up their engagement because <laughs> yeah. they make money from that. Because every time it gets shared, it reaches more people, their engagement goes up and they make more money from advertisers. Mm. They don't actually care about if you share it or not because of their point. They just want to make money from it. We've got a equally like opposite post going out at the same time yeah. on their other account so but that they get 100% of the market. <laughs> like, for instance, occasionally I'll be in charge of a giveaway that's done on social. And that's my trick as well. Mm. I do it as well. I say, hey, share this because I know it helps my engagement. Yeah, that's right. But going- I mean, there's also things like uh, very specifically used for political agendas. So not even necessarily yeah. for money, but the idea of that. that Because I was thinking, you know, jobs in particular, that's normally a political issue. Mm-hmm. It could be one party posting that uh, and obviously going through some other page and they wouldn't want it probably tracked back to them necessarily yeah. Uh, to, yeah, encourage that, encourage that mindset so that people... Yeah, are, are against or for whatever they're pushing, but uh, yeah, if someone's asking you to share or 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 you need to comment below or something like that, just know that they're hacking your engagement to better themselves. Yep, yep. Um, if if they weren't, they wouldn't mind you taking their thing independently and re-uploading it yourself. But if Reddit on Reddit asks you to share something, yeah, I share it obviously. I mean, we're not yeah. we're, we're not that vain. <laughs> so, I think you should just share it. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't care. Share it. Whatever. Yeah, just share it. Just probably. Just, just whatever. Just share it. Just give it a share. Just share it. So easy. Just click that share button. Hey, you're listening to this episode right now. There's a little there's little three little dots at the top corner. Oh. Just share it. Click that. Click share. Yep. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Pick your poison. Google Plus. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right. Here's l- the last one. Okay. I've told a lot of shout thoughts. Here's the last one. This is by Frustrated Roto. Okay. Introverts are judged for not wanting to hang out with people, but that's just extroverts making themselves feel better about needing to hang out with people. Mm. Interesting concept. What do you consider yourself? I think I am... Okay. I think I'm average, I'm going to say. Without saying whether that's introverted or extroverted. And I think that humans like to think that we're more social yeah. than we actually are. And that uh, and that technology has made us significantly less social. It's like, yeah. you know, tapped into us and, you know, made us not really want to com- uh, communicate with each other. Yeah. But I think... The thing is, I don't think we've ever wanted to communicate <laughs> with each other. Do you know the one that I hate? The mo- I saw this like ad campaign once, yeah, uh, and it it, it sort of um, uh, it took off a little bit in the sense that it was like, oh, put your phone down and mm-hmm. you know look up, have a conversation. Yeah, and I remember, I'm not sure if this started it or is just part of that. Somebody put an ad where they went to like a bus stop, and they people were on their phones uh, and then so they just started making a conversation with this person and, yeah. you know, these people were like trying to hide behind their phones. And I was like, well, the thing is, before phones, people had a newspaper uh, or a book. <laughs> yeah. Like we were still trying to avoid conversations yeah. with people. That hasn't changed for years. Like there's just a more efficient way to do it. Yeah, exactly. Like we don't... People don't really want to interact with people they don't know. It's not a, you know, inherent thing that has been bred out of us. It's just that that's the way humans are. And so I think that people think that we, you know, oh, we're such such social creatures. And we're like, yeah, we sort of are. Yeah, at times. Exactly. So I think I'm kind of average because sometimes I don't want to talk to people and yeah. sometimes I want to, you know, go out. And I, <laughs> do you know how I, okay. This is going to undermine everything I've just said. <laughs> Only because I like to think of uh, our sort of social needs in the same way that the Sims characters need their social needs, right? right? Where you kind of have this this uh, social meter that you hang out with people, it goes up. But then you don't need to hang out with people for a while. Right. 
But then, you know, after a long time, you start to get a bit lonely again. You're like, oh, I'm going to catch up with yeah. people again, you know. And I feel like that is kind of the so norm. That you, it's like You've got like an invisible bar above your head. And yeah. when that starts going red, yeah. you go out with people and it fills up to green again. Yeah. And that gives you a certain amount of time that you can go fuck off back home yeah. and be the self you actually want to be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what do you think about introverts and extroverts and... Yeah, I think people. people I think people are naturally a little more introverted. Yeah. But that is almost seen as like a dirty word now. Yeah, yeah. So reckon, yeah. people force themselves to go out more. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with going out and being social, that's fine. Yeah. But if you've ever gone out and you didn't want to, yeah. You shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah. God, I've done that so many times. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah. I think it's a good point. Yeah. I think you be you. Right, yeah. listeners, just be you. Yeah, that's what I say. You know what? Come hang out with us. Hang out with us. We won't talk to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, that's it for shout thoughts. Those are long. I don't know why I did so many shout thoughts. Because uh, you're bad at this show. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible at this show. Uh, but let's get into Ask Reddit. Okay. Ask Reddit. This Ask Reddit is by Jared Tribe. You get to open your own fast food restaurant with five menu items stolen from other fast food restaurants. Which five menu items do you choose to create the greatest fast food restaurant in existence? Ooh, okay. Okay, fast food. Okay, so the fries are going to have to be McDonald's. Got to start. Oh! Oh, really? Yeah, I think. What? Yeah. You idiot. (laughs) What are you (laughs) suggesting? KFC. No, okay. Here's here's my here's my reason. Yeah. Uh, Tell us why you're wrong. McDonald's aren't the best fries. (laughs) Okay. But they are the safest fries that the most people I think will eat. Because I know people that don't like KFC. That's a pretty good argument, actually. I don't think like KFC fries aren't universally loved. People that like them love them. Yeah. But there are people that don't like them. Yeah. But no one doesn't like a McDonald's fry. That's true. See what I'm saying? Like they're never I'm playing really... the safe game, Nelson. Do you know, can I tell you about chips that I hate? Okay. It's like... <laughs> no, no, no. Let's stop the show for a new segment Good. called Chips That Nelson Hates. <laughs> but it'll be I'll do a... Bill. What does he hate this week? I'll do a new one each week. Okay. Um, Grilled. Yep. They, they're chips that grilled. Australian burger. Is it yeah. Australian or Melbourne? Know. I don't know if it's... Uh, I have no idea. Anyway. Okay. Well, that doesn't help international listeners. Anyway, because the point is, they're the type of chips, and maybe uh, international listeners, you can think of a similar chip, where if you don't immediately eat them when they're hot, they are totally rubbish (laughs) cold. Like, they're just the worst chip ever Uh cold. Okay. Okay. Here's my problem with grilled. Okay. Yeah. First of all, it's too expensive. Wait, wait, wait. Let me introduce this segment. Oh, boop doop boo This is where Cambo hates grilled. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Every week. I don't know. Welcome <laughs> welcome to the show. <clears throat> so this is the problem with grilled. Yeah. Is they're expensive and they're not very good. And then every time you go and order a burger, they give you a dumb fucking bottle cap. And they're like, put this <laughs> dumb bottle cap into that dumb... <laughs> that dumb pot of fucking bottle caps over there to yeah. go towards a charity that you don't care about. And yeah. don't get me wrong, I care about charities. I'm okay with that. Okay, but yeah. every every single time I go in there, there's like, you know, a, a, a youth center. Uh, there's like a, a someone trying to help uh, maybe the elderly. And then there's a local football club that's overflowing with bottle caps. <laughs> and you're like, this is not the one. No. What are people doing? No, you know what, though? I've been tricked by this before. Is that you? you if you look carefully on the label, it would say how many jars have been filled up. Mm-hmm. In that period of time, because there was one time I had almost the exact same thing. I was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe this one has got so many more bottle caps." But the thing is, it was actually just had recently the empty. other two had had like double the amount gone through because everybody was giving it this. Right. And then yeah, this one had only been half. You know, it was still on its first jar. Okay, and their bread is bad. Oh, okay. I actually like their burgers. Okay. I like their chips. Maybe. Anyway, let's get, <laughs> let's get back to the question. Okay, so McDonald's chips. Mm-hmm. I'm going KFC chips. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I, let, let's go like the classic menu items. Okay. So let's go a... Uh, like burger? Uh, a, yeah, let's say a cheeseburger. That's the classic, isn't it? Okay. Or like, yeah, you, your standard burger. Yeah. Okay, what, what has the best basic burger? See, I am not a Big Mac guy. 
See, I was gonna say Big Mac. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Well, well no. Okay. This How is what different because I can get I can get five items, so mm. I'm gonna get two burgers. Okay. Big Mac. Yep. And then quarter pounder. Okay, so you, you're going both McDonald's burgers. Uh, sorry, not quarter pounder. Whopper is okay, what I meant to say. Because I hear the burgers are better at Hungry yeah, well, Jack's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, that's, that's okay. It. Because then kind you've got of, the tropes of both. Kind of a similar burger, though. Yeah, but I feel like you know, if you're not a if you're not a Big Mac person, you'll definitely eat. No, a see, Big I would disagree. You would want something a little because what's what's in a Big Mac? Uh, it's just the special sauce, lettuce, beef patty. And what's in a Whopper? Onion. Uh, okay, so okay. but you, you've got lettuce, you got tomato? No, not in, in the Big Mac. No, you, you, you no. got You got meat, you got uh, lettuce, you got onion, you got the sauce. Yeah. Sesame seed bun. Yeah. And then what's in a Whopper? Uh, tomato, mustard, uh, it's mayonnaise. Yeah. Onion, lettuce, beef. Beef, lettuce, tomato. So... I, like a Whopper is just a Big Mac with a little more. I, no, I no, would no. Say. The sauce is what changes everything. Because <laughs> otherwise, essentially, every burger is the same. It's the sauce that makes a difference. That's why I'm going, why aren't you going something like a lot more different, like a, like a chicken burger? Um, yeah, but I think that more people eat meat. I've only got to choose from five items. I could have chicken nuggets. You but, don't know that? Okay, but I'm going to go for a controversial choice. For my second, oh. because I like these. Okay. And they're not popular. Right. I enjoy the cheeseburger from Red Rooster. Oh, they are actually pretty yeah. good. Nobody ever goes to Red Rooster. Ever. So that's, that's and if they do, they certainly don't get the cheeseburger. Yeah. But no, I, I think I think it's kind of no. I, I think if you're somebody that's going to Red Rooster, you know about the cheeseburger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So, yeah, so I, I would go that. And I'm going to go a little international with number three. Oh, All right. okay. I would go a milkshake. Wait, are we up to four? I'm up to three. Oh, crap. I can't Yeah, remember. you ran oh, ahead, Because I got mate. two bags. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go a milkshake. Yeah. But I'm going to go a milkshake from Denny's. Okay. They have a good... They've got a solid milkshake. Not too right. solid. It's just thick. Okay. Um, good. That's good. Um, no, I'm going to go... Okay, so I don't want the chicken nuggets. I changed my mind on that. Okay. It's pretty good, but... Okay, I'm, so I'm going to say Coke. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right? That's a winner. Yeah. I've yeah. already won. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this was a competition. Oh, okay. <laughs> but also, does that mean I can't have Coke? Am I one um, of those stores that has well, Pepsi? You could, uh, <laughs> well, oh, no. Because no, you can only have five items. So right. you've chosen your drink. You couldn't cho- choose to have another drink, which oh, yeah. would okay. then be Coke. Yeah, I'll do that. So I've got okay. one item left. So what good. You, wait, so what have you, you've got McDonald's chips. <laughs> so I've got cheeseburger from Red Rooster. Cheeseburger from Red Rooster. A milkshake from Denny's. Yep. Coke, Coke. from various. Yeah, this is a shit menu. No, 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 so no, 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 no. Okay, but this wait, last one, okay. better, just better top it off, mate. <laughs> My fifth item. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. You know what? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I need to. Okay. This is hard because I keep thinking of places, but they're not like fast food restaurants. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, yeah. Because I fine. almost went to TGI Fridays, but is that fast food? It's more no, of a. No, it's fine. It's you're you're creating a fast food place. It's fine. You okay. Can... But I need to be clear here. I am trying to get the fast food restaurant that I would enjoy the most. Yeah, not necessarily. Yeah. That's the game I'm playing. Well, I'm still th- sort of doing it for monetary gain. Okay. If I'm being honest with no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a bit of both. Okay. Like, you know, I like the KFC fries. I like the, uh, I like a Big Mac. I like a Whopper. Right. Um, I, I, I but think they also sell well. <laughs> this, is what, this is what I'm saying. I think I would go a, I, I'm such a fan of wings. I love oh, chicken wings wing. are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I would go the buffalo wings from a TGI Friday. Yeah, okay. That's Alrighty. a weird restaurant I'm running. Yeah. That's good. I like it. Thank you. I mean, you haven't really got like a decent meal. You've got a, <laughs> you've got cheeseburger and then wings <laughs> with a side of fry. That's you, not really like but, a meal. But you can get a cheeseburger and chips and a drink. That is a meal. Well, yeah. I mean, I, that's so true. shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. You know what? It's great. <laughs> uh, What's okay. your fifth item? Here's my fifth item, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking about the money here, okay? okay? Yeah, but yeah. also, I enjoy it. Yeah. Potato cake. Okay. Because right. who doesn't just... who? 
Isn't that not the easiest upsell in the world? Yes. Like, okay, you've ordered your entire meal. By the way, want a potato cake? Yeah, yeah. all right. Just yeah. chuck, chuck it on. Chuck a couple of potato cakes in there. Right. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to make a killing off the potato cakes that right. people just go, no, oh, whatever. It's like a guilt-free item. Even at a even at a, a fast food takeaway place, it's just like, oh, I'm just chucking a, chucking a potato cake. It's so easy. Mm-hmm. I also thought dim sims, but I think potato cakes a bit hits more, a wider market. Yeah, dim sims. There are the people that do not enjoy a dim sim. Yeah, I think they're they're like KFC chips in a way. People yeah. that like them love them. Like yeah, that, there's a there's a people out there that don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'll stay with the potato okay. cake. Um, or how about just popcorn? Okay. Cage Only because that's very not like popcorn chicken, just popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you going a sweet or a salted? Salted. Okay. Which because I think it's very Moorish. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, I'm going for the maybe. You know what? I take it all back. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> now we sell cigarettes and drugs. <laughs> yeah. God, I make so much money. <laughs> um, no, well, you'd want. Yeah, yeah, like. One of them is, you know, weed, and then cheeseburgers as well. Because yeah. then they're like, oh, I'm so hungry, and then just get a ton of cheeseburgers. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You'd anyway. S- you would sell more. <laughs> all right. Can be. Um, all right. Let's do this, this one quick. This is by Semi Terrestrial. If there were a mediocre version of heaven called Evan. What kinds of things would you expect to happen there? Like Foxtel, maybe? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Because Foxtel always seemed good when you're a kid, yeah. didn't it? But then you realize there's still ads and there's still, you don't get to choose what to watch. It, yeah, it tells right. you what's on. Especially now that Netflix is out. Exactly. It's kind of like, oh, I don't have the option of but, everything, but, but I, it's got more content yeah, than normal exactly. TV. Yeah, so. but like, it's got Game of Thrones, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I can't choose when to watch it, but it is on. <laughs> yeah. You might be lucky enough to have a recording yeah. <laughs> device at the same time. I think, do you know what I reckon this would be? It'd be like you get up and, and you work in there like, hey, welcome to Irvin. Uh You can get free Slurpees. And I'd be like, oh, free, free Slurpee. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. I like Slurpees. And then you go over and the Coke is just always out. <laughs> or you it's just like, that really slushy syrupy <laughs> kind of. Yeah, and you're, you're like, like oh, I could have well, it. I'm but getting. I guess I. It's still free, but oh. or it's or it's slush puppy. Mm. The the much the <laughs> inferior type yeah, of yeah, iced yeah. drink. Yeah. Or, or it's that kind of thing where they're like, you know, free free sodas, all you want, and you, mm. you go in there. But it like previously stated, it's the Pepsi range, yeah, and not the Coke range. Like, ah, oh, yeah. I mean, I'll take it in a pinch. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, Canberra, that's it for Ask Reddit. Okay. Uh, now we can get on to our questions of making people like us. Yes. Because for those who don't know, we did a series of 36 questions where you, the listeners, fell in love with us after we answered all the questions because some some guy, some scientist guy made them up. Mm-hmm. But uh, we were afraid of the commitment, and so we decided to do... A same set, a same, another series of thirty-six questions in the same study, but they're to get you to like us. Yes, and, and these ones, as we've discovered, not very good. Oh yeah, uh, we're now up to set two. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, question I guess, thirteen. I guess we like you slightly more than we did before, and you probably like us slightly more than you did before. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, describe the last time you went to the zoo. Last time I went to the zoo. These are really shit questions. <laughs> oh, we're oh, just okay. committed, though. Yeah, I know. We're wait, we're bloody good guys. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I went to the zoo, uh, it will have easily been about five years ago. Yeah, zoos are boring, by the way. Zoos are so boring. Don't like them. They're so boring. Uh, I it was a, it was a I was with uh, my girlfriend at the time. Right. She was very excited. I tried to dull her expectations. Okay. I failed at that. Yeah. But then you know what did dull her 
expectations. What? The zoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. It does seem like once you haven't gone for a while, you're like, oh, yeah, the zoo. Like animals. Mm. They're cool. I like animals. It's the equivalent, I think you've stated before, to bowling. You're always yeah. like, I haven't gone bowling. No, we should go bowling. <laughs> yeah. And then you do like... Two yeah. balls. You get five frames in, you're like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only halfway through the first game and we paid for two. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can't remember the last time I went to the zoo. Maybe with my niece. Nah, I don't think so. But see, she goes to the zoo occasionally. Mm. And I think it's probably better to go with a young child sure. that is just in awe of everything around you. It's like uh, my experience in Disneyland when I went there by myself. Right. Bad experience by yeah. yourself. Don't go to Disneyland yeah. by yourself. But I, if I was like, you know, with friends or, you right. know, my niece or something in Disneyland, I'm sure they'd absolutely love it. And it would yeah. just like heighten my enjoyment of yeah. it. Disneyland, not necessarily made for a mid to late 20s man by himself. Yep. Yeah, perhaps a social. Discovered thing. that the hard way. Not for introverts. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. Don't go to the zoo is what we're saying. Yeah, fine. I don't know. All right. Uh, now we can get into the ask me anything. Where listeners of the show, just like you, listener, can write into us and ask us anything you want. Um, so Cambo, if you'd like to do the question, sure. Uh, I got. Uh, oh shit! Okay, this is deep. Sorry, I just read it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is from Rowan. Uh, gentlemen, in line with the claim from Douglas Adams, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where it states the meaning of life is 42, mm. AMA 42.0, what is the meaning of life according to you? P.S. Oh. Loving escaped this podcast. Cheers, Rowan. Ah, did you hear that, Bill? Huh? Have you converted any listeners to us? <laughs> You better. We're keeping tally. So far, it's <laughs> one to us, zero to you. Uh, two, I believe, because also I remember Amanda said she was going to check them out. Oh, uh, well, Balls you're in losing. your court, Bill. <laughs> also, come on the show again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the meaning of life to you, Nelson? Okay. The meaning of life to me, and I've always thought this, is to procreate and right. survive. Okay, that's very practical of you. Yes. I literally don't think there's a... I think people have spent years, philosophers, mm -hmm. people trying to find meaning through religion yep. or something, and just struggling to find why they're here. And it's actually very fucking simple. Right. We're here... <laughs> to continue the species. Just to keep going. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And by the way, we're doing a terrible job of it. <laughs> We're killing, like, a lot of things as we go. We're doing well. I t but I, okay, I tell you what, as well, because we're on the brink of war at the yeah. moment. There's been a lot of bombing in Syria, which is going very badly. I have a ticket to the Avengers Infinity War premiere <laughs> on okay. Tuesday. Okay. If war fucking breaks out before <laughs> then, I swear to God, yeah. I'll murder someone. Okay. Just let me see the movie and then kill all, <laughs> all the people you want. Kill me. I don't care. I've seen it. <laughs> okay, so the meaning to life for you is to watch yeah, Avengers, Avengers Infinity, Infinity War. <laughs> <laughs> I um, mean, it's not a bad. <laughs> I've heard worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. So I, this isn't necessarily the meaning of life. This isn't, but this is what I think your life should be. Like, you know. Okay. Is, is to, to, to have friends, to fall in love, and to, to have fun. I think okay. if, if that's what you want in life, if that's what you aim for, I think that's a good, noble thing. No, see, I think you've set the bar too high. Okay. You're bound, Just bound to fail some of those things. <laughs> At some point, you you're going to be... You don't have to have all of them all the time. Yeah, but then you feel like because you know that's the goal and you're currently not in that spot, you know, you get depressed because you're like, well, I'm not, I'm not achieving the meaning of life. Even if sometimes you do... It's like this, you know, depressing thought that you're not always achieving the meaning of life. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I like, for instance, uh, but uh, surviving. I'm doing that every day. <laughs> I'm doing that every day, Kemba. Oh, barely. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I, but you know, I think that things like um, uh, we often talk about, uh, like road trips and stuff, we've been on that we both really enjoyed. I think things like that is what life is supposed to kind of be. That is yeah. the meaning of living. Yeah, yeah. You go out, you have fun, you you make some memories, you know. Yeah. You procreate. You procreate, yeah. <laughs> In the back of a wicked camper. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, that's good. I like yours as well. I just like to poke holes in your 
well, you know, I mean. in what you say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the best thing you can do in life is listen to this podcast. I think so. Yeah. So do that. Perhaps if uh, if you're new here from the Escape This Podcast podcast, the best thing you could do is subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Do it now. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll wait. And no, share. We'll, we'll, and wait. share. We'll, we'll wait for them to subscribe. Okay. Bad reception. Just give him, <laughs> just give him an extra second. Yeah, right. Waving. Just yeah, tap on the top. There we go. Yeah, cool. Okay, right, cool. That's right. it. Good, good work. <laughs> well, Cambo, we have uh, another question here. Okay, who's this from? From Bill. From him? From Bill. From Bill. What? From Escape This Podcast. Oh, Bill. You know, we're losing all our listeners to him. <laughs> <laughs> he owes his two listeners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, Bill wants to know. Yeah. What is your favorite podcast to listen to? Oh. Mm, I think he's fishing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, favorite podcast. Uh, my The podcast I listen to probably most religiously is The Weekly Planet. Yeah. Right up my alley, comic books, movies, etc. I just went and saw them actually at the comedy festival. Oh, they had, they had you went to their podcast. live show. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, they're great. If I listen back to their podcast, can I hear you go, ha! Yeah, I like was that. anyone there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you just turned up at their house. Yeah. And he's like, what, what comedy fest? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no, we're here already, I guess. <laughs> um, and he's like, how do you know where I live? Like Facebook data, baby. That's what the links are about. <laughs> I'm really good friends with Mark. <laughs> uh, okay. Anything else? I feel like we've actually had this question before a while ago. Yeah. And I, I feel like you said that. So you yeah. need something new. Now. Okay, <laughs> right. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a couple of shout outs to some friends of ours. I okay. actually listen to the Goodall and Gallagher podcast a lot. Oh, yeah. They yeah. have some really good interviews. In fact, just recently they interviewed the wife of the Weekly Planet host. Right. And okay. you have that for a connection. Oh, good, good yep. connection. Yep. Um, I, okay. I also listen to. I I listen to like a lot now. I feel yeah. Um, uh, Reddit and Reddit, obviously. Obviously, uh, there's one our friend does, or it's sort of like a friend's brother, yeah. but he's sort of become our friend a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and their show is called Welcome to Patchwork. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they've been doing uh, pretty well. Just Very a bunch well, of guys actually. that uh, did just had to, what it's um what is it? observational sort of comedy just about their lives mm-hmm. a bit and their friendship between each other it's pretty interesting. And I guess to to pitch this to people uh, and how they're better than us, uh, recently nominated <laughs> for a podcast award in comedy. Oh oh, that reminds me. Um, for the listeners, do you think give the listeners an idea of percentage, right? Okay, because there's a there's a um, public voting award, right? Right. Uh, what do you think our chances are of winning the public vote? Okay. Um, and this percentage is out of 100. E- well, yeah, like okay. normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like normal. Yeah, yeah. Minus five. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, now knowing that the voting is closed mm-hmm. and I forgot to plug it on this podcast mm-hmm. since people were allowed to do it. Right. Now what are our chances? <laughs> Minus 10. Okay, cool. Right. Just a check in. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I, re- I just realized we d- didn't plug it once on yeah, the podcast. Well, I mean, I was kind of, I was always kind of slightly against We knew this our idea. chances were negative five. Yeah. So you were like, should I enter this? I'm like, mm, but it would have nah. been, it would have been nice if it was that we could have, you know, managed our expectations to at least like 0.1%. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, so, yes, I listen to those guys. I also listen to, because I've been getting really into D&D lately. Right. I've been listening to a lot of uh, D&D podcasts right. like Acquisitions Incorporated, which yep. is a really popular one. And uh, if, actually, that's my hot tip for you. I just listened to an Acquisitions Incorporated uh, podcast today. And if you're thinking about getting into D&D, and also if you're a gamer, play PUBG or Fortnite or anything like mm-hmm. uh, any of those Battle Royale games, listen to this episode of Acquisitions Incorporated because it's very funny and uh, they've they've linked in that sort of Battle Royale game, right. gameplay as well. So right. It's really good. I recommend that. Yep. Um, That's good. Yeah, recommending something to start with. In fact, okay, yep. I, l- let me recommend this because uh, I recommended uh, The Weekly Planet. Um, if you're into movies, they have a bunch of movie commentaries. 
yeah. which are actually quite funny. So you put on the movie and you sync it up with your podcast and they commentate the movie. Um, some of those are really good. Okay. My personal favorite is actually uh, Batman vs. Superman, the director's cut. Oh, yeah. However, you are in for three hours of that movie. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you do hear them slowly lose their mind and <laughs> yeah. lose a lot of momentum. Yeah, yeah. That's fair enough. It's to be expected in that, in yes. that film. <laughs> uh, alrighty, Cambo, that's it. Yep. Oh, From- also, let's get this podcast, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, don't, pl- don't really that, plug that one. We've done enough plugging. It's what he wanted, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy, you got it out of us, Bill. You fished it out of us. Okay. I've got a question for you, Bill. On your next podcast, what what podcast do you listen to? <clears throat> Sorry, what, what, just... do you, what podcast do you listen to right now? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, That's it. What, 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 what do we got? That's it. That's the end of the show. Subscribe. Oh, we already gave people the opportunity to sub- no, no, subscribe. Let, let's do it again properly. Okay. Nelson. Yeah. If you're wanting to hear more from us. I thought you said properly. Oh, <laughs> say, let me try again. <clears throat> Nelson. Um... <laughs> Now, if you want to hear more from this show, because it's been great so far. Oh, yeah. Where would you find us? Uh, probably on Reddit or Facebook or yep. Twitter. And you can write into us through those avenues, but also Reddit podcast, R-E-A-D-I-T podcast at gmail.com. Correct. They're all R-E-A-D-I-T podcast at Facebook or Twitter in our subreddit. Yep. And we're good at we're good at social media, so we have the same handle on everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, um, and right in, yeah, we rate us, rate us. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. yeah. Apparently, it helps. What do you think? Uh, so, uh, uh, we have a kind of a, a a rule of thumb. If you've listened to three episodes and you're still enjoying it, uh, subscribe. Yeah, you have to subscribe yeah. and yeah, rate to. us five stars. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's the law. Yeah, or we'll send. We'll don't, send Elon Musk and his robots after you. Don't make us use that Facebook data to find you. Because <laughs> we will. <laughs> All right. That's it for another episode. Uh, uh, we will read you later. Bye. <laughs>